Hello everyone, today's video is going to be my best beauty products of the year 2013 and these are basically the products that I have discovered or rediscovered in the year 2013 that I definitely find worth mentioning and I'm actually not the type of person here on YouTube that does a lot of favorites videos because when I like a product, I usually love it and I stick to it for a while. No matter how much makeup I haul or how much new makeup I get, I usually stay with my favorites. So a lot of those products are the products that are in here in this video. So if you are interested in seeing these products, keep on watching. So I decided to do 13 products just because we are talking about the year 2013 and it makes sense and also I needed to give myself a limit or else I would have done a whole video about my collection and we don't have time for that. So I decided to narrow it down to 13 products and I'm not going to start in any particular order. I'm just going to look at all these things and what makes sense in a certain order would happen. So let's just get started. The first product that I'm going to talk about is actually such a simple product but really really affordable and that is why I want to put it on here and put it on first because I really want you guys to know about it and it is by the brand called Coco Care and it's their Cocoa Butter Lip Balm and this was actually just a purchase on a whim because I was at Walgreens I think mid 2013 and I didn't find what I was looking for and I didn't want to leave empty-handed that's just the shopaholic in me so I decided to pick something up that I've never heard of and the packaging was just so bright and it was like in the corner of all of like the lip products and I thought I would try it and now it is definitely one of my favorite lip products and my favorite lip balm ever I think the only thing that makes me not um, have it as my number one lip product is because it doesn't have SPF so I can only really use it before I put on lip products or before I go to bed and that's exactly what I do and what I love about this is when I put it on before I go to bed I move a lot at night just to let you know so any lip product anything that I put on my lips it's just no use of doing because it'll be gone it wouldn't do anything for my lips but with this I put it on before I go to bed I wake up and it's still on my lips and I could definitely notice how like smooth soft and just like almost velvety my lips feel it's just so soft and it's still there it's so weird how it does that and I've loved this this is my third tube and it's already halfway it's only a dollar a dollar yes the first time I purchased this it was only 99 cents and now I think is oops <laughs> I think it's like a dollar oh seven or something but it's still super cheap compared to other ones out there that don't really work as well as this so I would definitely check this out at Walgreens or anywhere that they carry Coco care since we're in the lip product category anyway and I only have one more lip product to talk about I decided to go for another lip product and I don't know where I have been but this lip product line has been at Sephora for almost two years now and I just recently jumped the bandwagon about it and I am not having any regrets because now it is my favorite lip product line and I am talking about the by beauty collection and I don't know what about them, but it drew me into them. I think it was because they're really healthy for your lips and you know how you basically consume what's on your lips. So I decided to try them out and I'm never going back because now I'm so obsessed with them. And like I mentioned in my last Sephora hauls, they have been the only lip product line that I have been into and I've been using. And in particular, I have two of their collections the luminous cream lipstick which has been like my everyday lipstick and this is in the color fig and this is more of their like full coverage lipstick but the one that i'm really really in love with is this one which is their lush lip tint collection and this is in the color watermelon it's the one i have on now and it has like a little b in the middle so I never really cared for this line until like a week ago when I purchased it and um, they, they are basically kind of advertised as like lip tints and they don't really have a lot of color so I never really looked at them and then finally I just decided to try them on and oh my goodness they're basically like lipsticks in like the pigmentation spectrum like they're really pigmented but they are so soft as if you're putting on a lip balm 
oh my goodness that is just the the biggest thing and i love it they stay on all day they do not give you like that dry ring in the middle which is like something i'm sold when it comes with lipstick so i have been really in love with this and the plus is the fact that they are healthy for you and they have like resveratrol whatever that is but apparently it's like drinking eight glasses of wine i don't know but yeah i really really like these and i would definitely recommend them and they're about 24 dollars, but totally worth it i have to say totally worth it better than the chanel rouge coco shines and that's a lot to say because that's my favorite favorite lipstick so yeah check those out now moving on to the eye makeup and i actually have the most with eye makeup i have one two three four five eye makeup products and I'm going to whisk through them because I know I'm going to talk a lot but I think I have most of these products being eye makeup products because I am not one to wear a lot of face makeup I usually just work on my eyes because my face is kind of scared of breakouts so I like to kind of um, spend time on my eyes more than anything so that's why I have a lot of eye products here and I'm gonna start with one that I did a full first impression and demo on which is the Benefit Gimme Brow Brow Gel and this came out this year and it is one of the best products that I've ever owned and what it is basically is if you have sparse eyebrows and you just want like that quick fix to make your eyebrows look fuller this is the product for you and I know it's kind of like a brow gel like you can get it anywhere but this one the thing that makes it very unique is it has a small brush so you have more control on your eyebrows and which parts you want to make fuller and the other thing is it's not just a brow gel like you don't use this as a brow gel setter I don't think at least it's literally just like put it on and your brows are done and I love that fact because sometimes you just don't have time to do a lot of things with your eyebrows and this makes it easy and I think the only downside of this is it's only very useful if your eyebrows are already shaped so if you already got them done like got them threaded or got them waxed I think this would be your best friend but if you want to kind of shape them first and stuff then you can't just use this you're gonna have to use other products but if your eyebrows are already cleaned up and groomed and shaped then this will be like the product it's the only product you'll ever need so I really like this one next one is an oldie but a goodie and it is a Mac black track fluid line and this says a lot because I don't use a lot of gel liners I usually only do liquid liners because I have really hooded lids so anything that touches the other lid it will definitely transfer and I have to say this stuff does not do that and I have been doing a lot of wing line looks lately and you probably see them in my videos I don't think you could really see it well but I've been doing a lot of like just like a wing line even on a day-to-day -day basis because this stuff makes it easy and it doesn't do the transferring thing and it's a lot cheaper than my other one which is the one that I swore by I was like it's the only one that does not transfer onto my other lid and that is the Yves Saint Laurent Effet Faux Souls gel liner but this stuff is a lot cheaper and it's a lot smaller smoother like it's not a dry finish yet it looks like it's a matte finish and that's what I really really like about it and I'm gonna do a close-up to show you guys how much I've actually used this so this says a lot it's super waterproof oh my goodness I just really really like this product and I'm pretty sure you guys know about this product so I don't have to say a lot about it Now another Benefit product and it is the Benefit They're Real and I always brag and boast about this and I just always talk about how much I love it because I feel like I owe it to Benefit because I remember the first ever video that I've ever done on YouTube was ranting about this product how much I hated it how much you did not want it at all don't buy it I was like saying that so many times in that video which I already took down because I looked ridiculous but 
I kind of feel guilty about loving it now because it is the perfect mascara for me and that's the reason why I talk about it all the time but basically this does the works it does curling for me it separates it volumizes it lengthens it defines and even though it's not waterproof it's super water resistant I've cried with this on and it doesn't really do anything so this is definitely my favorite mascara like in the spectrum of not being waterproof because I do have some waterproof mascaras that I love and I love them because they are waterproof like I could go to like a water slide but this one on a day-to-day -day basis and so I'm not killing my eyes or eyelashes this is definitely my favorite mascara next product is an eyeliner and I never thought that I was going to ever be able to wear eyeliner on my upper eyelid because it will transfer like I said I have really hooded lids and I'm so glad that I found this one and it is definitely my favorite and this is already my second one I showed it in my um, VIB haul I only have like this little small one left and then I picked up a new one and I really really like this and it is the Dior waterproof eyeliner pencil in number 594 brown intense or intense brown and the reason why I really like this is not only the fact that it could go on my upper lid and not necessarily transfer but also it makes everything easier it is like a drier pencil so it won't necessarily glide on so fast but it glides on enough that it makes everything faster because before I used to have to use a liquid liner because like I said everything just transfer onto my other lid if I um, wear anything but a liquid liner and this one makes everything easier because now I can just put on eyeshadow and then this and then mascara and I'm done before I used to take a long time to just put on liquid liner because liquid liner is messy but it was really the only thing that works for me at the time but now that I have this it takes off at least 10 minutes out of my regimen in the morning and it also comes with a little um, sponge at the end that makes it easier to um, smudge the lower lash line which I also use this for I'm using it right now been using it almost every single day every single video it's the eyeliner that, that I use unless I'm wearing a gel liner so I really like this and it's worth the $29 and really it's the only thing that worked for me I've tried the Urban Decay ones they definitely transfer so I love this and it lasts me a long time anyway so definitely worth every penny this year is definitely a year for NARS because I have a lot of other favorites by NARS but I was limited to um, 13 products so I'm only able to put in two NARS products in here which I will talk about the other one later but basically another product eye makeup wise that I've been loving is the NARS eyeshadow duo or the NARS eyeshadow duo line in general and I never thought that I'm going to be that person that would love to have all of the NARS duos but now I do because they're eyeshadows are seriously the most pigmented velvety soft smooth I don't even know I'm really tempted to like swatch them right now but I don't have a towel near me but basically they are so smooth so pigmented so velvety I just have to say that you have to at least try one NARS eyeshadow or an eyeshadow duo just feel them and love them seriously even their matte shadows like my favorite one the NARS Portobello is super duper velvety and super soft smooth and pigmented I would just really try these out and they have definitely been introduced to my list of favorites forever and ever so love NARS eyeshadows now on to the face products and the next two products are actually um, conjoined or really work together and that's why I'm going to mention them both at the same time and first is the Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation and the Little Beauty Blender Dupe I guess and I swear this works exactly like the Beauty Blender I had the Beauty Blender for a year and then it totally just died in the beginning or I think middle of 2013 and when I saw this at Walmart I thought oh my goodness I hope that works exactly the same but it almost looks exactly like it except double-sided and this one is only I think three dollars and when I started using this the only thing that I had in my head was why did someone invent a $20 sponge when you can buy the exact same thing and double-sided 
for like three bucks like I swear it works exactly the same as the beauty blender and it's amazing how it can do that this is used with this it is kind of hard for me to really like a foundation just because I have sensitive skin and it's very very dry and I actually think that it's a little bit harder to have dry skin than oily skin because if you have oily skin you could pat as much powder as you can to fix that oiliness throughout the day but if you have dry skin and you start getting flaky frosted flaky looking skin you can't really do anything about it so if I wear a foundation or I decide on wearing a foundation it has to be really really moisturizing and I think the hello flawless oxygen wow by benefit really is a good one for that um, I actually don't think so unless you use a damp sponge and that's why I have these favorites together because I know I did a first impression on this and it did leave my skin a little bit dry and so I played around with it and now it is my favorite so if you use this without kind of any wet ingredient in there like a damp sponge it might leave your skin dry but if you use it with a damp beauty blender or a, um, a beauty blender dupe like this one, it is the greatest thing. And the thing that really gets me with this is because it's the foundation that you can wear outside without looking like you're wearing foundation. And I think that's the biggest thing. It is a light to medium coverage. So if you already have like an okay skin, this is the perfect one for you. But if you have a lot of things to cover, you might have to wear concealer, which takes away the fact that it does look like you're not wearing any makeup. That's the only thing. But all in all, if you have or need just light to medium coverage and don't really want to look like you're wearing foundation, definitely Hello Flawless by Benefit. But if you have really dry skin and you get flaky right away, use a damp sponge like this one from Walmart. I think it's called Soho London that I got this from. And basically just damp that and then go ahead and apply it on your skin and you're good to go. So this is definitely a go-go for me. Next product is once again an oldie but a goodie and I don't really have to say much about it because it is well loved here on YouTube and it is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I have been loving this for the past two months. I've rediscovered it and I don't know why I let it go but seriously I think the main reason why a lot of people love this and just praise it is because of the fact that it is a universally flattering bronzer and I think anyone with a light to medium skin tone would appreciate this because it's not necessarily an orange base color it's more like a muddy brown with a golden undertone to it so it's really great for even just contouring but also it has enough glitter but not so much that it gives you that nice golden glow if you want to use it as a full-on bronzer and what I do is basically sometimes I contour with it like today or sometimes I do the C I don't necessarily do the E and the three just because I don't need it too much I just want to kind of make my um, complexion brighter and also just to um, push up my cheekbones and I love this whether I'm wearing foundation or not and a lot of the times I don't wear foundation I never wear foundation on a day-to-day -day basis it's literally just my bare skin and even just that really just brightens up your natural complexion and I really really like this and it has been in my everyday regimen for two months now and going so I really love Laguna. Now I can't talk about my favorite beauty products of the year 2013 without mentioning Jo Malone. I swear Jo Malone took over my year especially in the beginning of it when I was first introduced to the line and I think these are just the best things to have to even just indulge in a little bit of luxury without having to pay a lot and I swear you just have to smell one of Jo Malone's creations. I have two favorite scents and the first one is the first ever scent that I picked up which is Orange Blossom and this smell is very kind of wintry. It smells like freshly brewed green tea. It literally smells like that and you would think Orange Blossom it would have some kind of citrus in there but I don't really smell a lot of that. I feel like it does have a little bit of an orange scent but very warm that it really just doesn't scream spring or summertime. It's more of a 
warm, cozy winter scent that I definitely would recommend to anyone. It's very sophisticated and it's actually one of Kate Middleton's Jo Malone favorites that she had at the royal wedding actually. So I think that's why I purchased this really. So I would check that one out. Now my favorite ever is always the one that is sold out. I think it is one of their best sellers, which is Blackberry and Bay. And this one is more of a fruity, floral, sweet scent that is very fresh. So it's not necessarily for winter time or summertime. It's just a very neutral scent. And I think that's the reason why it is my favorite and it has been my signature scent for many, many months now. And I just love this scent so much and it's worth sniffing. So I would check that one out as well. The last two products are very simple products, once again, like the lip balm, but they have to be mentioned because they definitely changed my makeup removal regimen, if that makes any sense. But the first one is some baby wipes and these are by Up and Up. You could get them at Target. And the thing is, these are for sensitive skin, like sensitive baby skin. So you can only imagine how mild these are for your skin. And I would have to say, sometimes I don't even need to cleanse right after. And they're pretty strong when it comes to removing makeup, sometimes even waterproof makeup. The biggest thing is these are only $2.79 or 80 of them and they work a lot better than actual makeup removing wipes that are like ten dollars and i would definitely check these out they're like three bucks you will not lose anything so if you have a target and have an up and up brand go ahead and check them out last but definitely not the least is this very revolutionizing tool i'm pretty sure they've been around for a while but this is from sephora and what it is is basically a liquid pump for any liquid products that you have. They're exactly the same as what they have at Sephora in those like makeup stations where you could put on and try on their makeup and remove it. And they have like those little pads and then you could go ahead and pump out makeup remover or alcohol on the other one. And it's the same exact idea. It just makes everything a lot cleaner, mess free when it comes to pumping out your liquid product. Instead of pouring it out, you could go ahead and just pump some, get a good amount on there and you're good to go. And these are, I think, $11 at Sephora and you could put anything in them as long as it's liquid. I don't really know if you could put lotion in there. You could try, but I think you could purchase this somewhere else, probably cheaper, but it's at Sephora that I found them, but very useful and I would go check these out if you want a cleaner vanity. <laughs> so that concludes my best beauty products of the year 2013 and I hope you found some new products to try out this upcoming year and thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!